oh welcome to another great video here on our youtube channel okay we are looking at tips on using multiple temples within Protus project now what do we mean by this just in case you have never uh, had a need to do this before uh, i would advise that you watch this video carefully and pay attention because soon you are going to have one of your clients telling you this is what i want to achieve uh, when you know it once you know it forever and you wouldn't have to come back to watch this video again because you've already learned how to have multiple temples within a Protus project. Now, come along with me as I teach you how to do this. Uh, a quick tip on it. Okay, let's go to a Protus project, one of the ones we have on, uh, uh, on our system. We have this Protus project, okay? Now, looking at this Protus project, you would realize that uh, in this Protus project, we have temple showing like 107 at the same time you have 95 now this happens most times when you have your client telling you i just want this song to start maybe kind of uh, uh slow then picks up later or sometimes very fast then you tone it down as an audio engineer or uh, a music producer you need to know this now quickly let's do this let's play this very song here let's see what we have now it's playing on the 107 tempo move we step it down and then we have the 95 now okay so it's playing on the 95 uh tempo okay i'm going to explain to you how we were able to achieve this quickly uh come along with me do not forget that we have a click track now Let's take it back to the beginning, now the beginning of the, the whole song. If you come to your click track, which is down here, we created a click track at the very beginning of this uh, song. When you click on this one, it comes up. You can see it's showing 107. It comes to one night, uh, just 95, beg your pardon. It comes to 95, meaning at the very beginning, we have 107 BPM. And why at this point, he, he gradually toned down to 95 BPM, okay? So how did we achieve this in Pro Tools? We have to do this when it's necessary, but how did we achieve this in Pro Tools? It's very simple and straightforward. Now, let's go to the beginning. Now, you can actually choose that at the very beginning, you come here and say, this is the tempo you want, 107 of this year, and here we have 95. Now, you want... For example, at this point, you want the tempo to change, like from here. Okay, so all you just need to do is click, for example, on this marker point here. And say, okay, I want at this point or at this bar at 33. Now, if you're going to make this part of the song to have uh, a different tempo entirely from what we have in the beginning, it's just a matter of you coming here, uh, click, and then... At this point that the tempo will be changed to whatever you want it to be okay so you enter it okay you can see what we have now we have one two three so at this point the song gets here for example on verse two and then the tempo changes because you have changed this tempo to 123 okay so you have within one protus project we have 107 95 and we have one two three so it's actually very uh, easy to do this. You can set more tempos depending on what you're doing. This is actually very useful when you're recording uh, multiple uh, artists, for example, you're doing something that have to do with um, orchestra. You just want to set different tempos in just one Pro Tools project. Or within a song, if an artist requests for it, this is how to achieve that. All right? So uh, in the course of this video, I made mention of um, a, a click track. Okay, I'll be explaining that in detail in another video, how to create a click track in Pro Tools. And then, of course, uh, some other things that you need to understand about the click track in Pro Tools. So you just stay, stick around for, for that. Uh, we, we make more videos, like I say all the time, we make more videos because of your likes and your subscription. Please, we do encourage people, uh, when you watch our videos, don't forget to subscribe because that's how we make more videos and also like. Drop a comment, ask questions. We can make more videos for you in Noise Gate Media. This is what we do. 
I would like to bring solutions. Uh, of course, the challenges that we have overcome in time past, we bring them. To, we we, sub, we show you how we were able to solve the problem, so you can also be a benefactor of uh, whatever it is we've learned in our mistakes. Thank you for being part of this. We love you from Noise Gate Media. Thank you.